Hello, family. Welcome to episode five of season four of the Good News Network, entitled Let the Blessings Begin. My name is Luke Speckman. And I'm Brandon Speckman. And today we bring you good news of God's incredible marvels in the sold out movement from the month of January. This past month, we as a worldwide family of churches transitioned from the year of miracles in 2023 and entered into 2024 termed the year of blessings. So many scriptures come to mind from the Old Testament in Genesis 32, as Jacob perseveres in wrestling with the angel of God for a blessing, to the book of Matthew in the Beatitudes, where many will recall Jesus saying, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And Brandon and I feel immensely blessed and literally superlatively happy to share with you account after account of God working powerfully in his kingdom. In today's episode, we'll begin with the recent inaugural services, geographic missions conferences hosted in January, and afterwards we'll see a day in the life of Kieran of the New Delhi Church, who will share with us the inspiring account of her conversion from Hinduism to Christianity. Next, we'll go into a mercy moment, and finally, we'll close with good news from around the world. And so we start in Australia, where the Brisbane mission team, valiantly led by Solomon and Megan Alder, recently hosted their inaugural on January 21st. This was a very special planting to our dear brother and Austral China World Sector leaders, Dr. Joe and Carrie Willis, because they started a sold out movement remnant group in 2006 with just five disciples, two of whom were Ian and Margot Clegg. However, though noble in their intent, their faith was weak and they never saw a single baptism in six years. Then, in the summer of 2012, the Willises moved with their two children to Los Angeles to train under Kip and Elena. So, 12 years ago, Joe and Ian prayed for the Brisbane planting to happen and for God to use them. And God allowed them to reunite that faithful January 21st weekend and pray in the same exact spot they first prayed together all those years ago. They wept as they praised God, remembering when the 12 Disciples Sydney Mission Team, led by the Willises, arrived in 2014 and immediately joined by the Clegs. From that humble group, the Lord has blessed and multiplied them into nine different church plantings in the Austral China World Sector in the past 10 years. And God was glorified glorified as the Brisbane Church of nine disciples and 11 visiting disciples had 124 in attendance, thus welcoming 104 non-Christian visitors that auspicious Sunday. Megan shared an inspiring communion message about how the cross woke her up and motivated her to choose to become a Christian. And Solomon, a Brisbane national, preached courageously to many friends and family in the audience to repent and truly walk as Jesus did. And one week later, on Australia's biggest holiday weekend, Australia Day, the Melbourne inaugural service was held. This was very exciting as Melbourne has surpassed Sydney as Australia's largest city at 5 million people and is now the third church in Australia. And on this holiday weekend, where many travel and celebrate, the 11 disciples on the Melbourne team, led by the charismatic Emmanuel and Effie Quincy, welcomed 60 souls. Congratulations to our newest church plantings, and thank you mission team members so much for your willing hearts to go anywhere, do anything, and give up everything for the sake of the gospel. And next, we're so eager to share about the recent geographic mission conferences that have been hosted in the United States. Starting here in the state of Florida, the Sages World Sector was able to host their first ever missions conference on January 3rd through the 7th in Orlando, Florida, entitled Light of the World. Some of the absolute highlights of that unforgettable weekend were the vibrant worship Thursday night in the campus session, multiple artistic performances and a new film premiere, the lessons on shining bright for God and amazing fellowship. Disciples were filled with joy to see the kingdom appointments of Jacob and Hannah Wessels to the office of evangelist and women's ministry leader, JJ and Melinda Johnson appointed as shepherding couple, and most excitingly to witness Marcel and Tia Turner of Atlanta and Jared and Rachel McGee of Tampa appointed geographic sector leaders. And finally, the Sunday morning worship service was electric, concluding with three moving baptisms. And up in the Northeast USA, in Stamford, Connecticut, was the Northeast Missions Conference hosted by the Promised Land World Sector starting on January 11th. The theme was simply blessed from Psalm 119 verses 1 and 2. And it was a packed program with session after session of powerful charges. Saturday afternoon, there was a basketball tournament with all of the Northeast Ministries participating, a pure dance and a talent show where the vibrant AMS ministry brought glory to God through their God-given gifts. 
And excitingly, the Promised Land Disciples were also in the company of Africanus World Sector Leaders, Dr. Andrew and Patrick Smelly, Dr. Michael and Sharon Kirchner, who are the World Sector Administrators and the Shepherding Couple for the Promised Land World Sector. And last, but certainly not least, the Promised Land World Sector Leaders, Corey and G. Blackwell. Finally on Sunday, over 500 came together for an epic worship service where three shepherding couples were appointed, and Rutha Trin was deservedly appointed a women's ministry leader for Philadelphia. Incredibly, at the conclusion of the service, seven souls were baptized into Christ, three were restored, and a baptism from earlier in that week was introduced. The conference closed out with a glorious kingdom banquet on Sunday afternoon. So amazing. What an incredible way for so many to kick off the new year. We're so looking forward to other missions conferences to come this year and mark your calendars as just around the corner is the South American Missions Conference entitled First Love, which will take place in the beautiful city of Sao Paulo, Brazil from February 22nd to the 25th. And also the first ever Southern Africa Leadership Conference in Johannesburg, Africa from March 7th to the 10th entitled God is Able. For for more information, please talk with your church leader. And now for a day in the life of Karen, our sister from our New Delhi church in India, followed by a mercy moment. Hi, my name is Kiran. I am 15 years old. I am in 11th class. I am from India. I am in India. I Delhi. I am in Delhi. आली विहार नाम है उसका और मुझे दो महीने हो चुके हैं एक डिसाइपल बने हुए और मैं हिंदू परिवार से हूँ फिर उन मतलब मैं यहाँ आने लगी फिर एक दो महीने हो गए तो यहाँ एक सर थे जिनका नाम दीपक था उन्होंने वो हमें इंग्लिश सिखाते थे तो उन्होंने मतलब उन्होंने हमें इनवाइट करा उन्होंने मुझसे और मेरी फ्रेंड से कहा कि आप एक बार अपने घर में बात करो को वहाँ इतना अच्छा लगने लगा तो मम्मी मतलब वहाँ से आके वहाँ की तारीफ करती थी कि वहाँ मतलब इतनी शांति है वहाँ हर एक चीज़ नई नई सीखने को मिलती है और मतलब काफ़ी अच्छे लोग हैं बट मैंने जब वहाँ जाकर देखा कि सब एक दूसरे को हक कर रहे हैं एक दूसरे के इतने क्लोज हैं और मतलब इतने प्यार प्रेम से रहते हैं वहाँ इतनी स्माइल इतनी खुशी है इतनी मतलब मस्ती है वहाँ पर वहाँ मेरा मन भी लगने लग गया फिर मम्मी मम्मी को मतलब इंटरेस्ट आने लग गया वहाँ जाने से बट जो लोग थे उन्होंने मम्मी को मना करा कि नहीं अगर तुम चर्च जाओगे तो हमारे जो देवी देवता हैं वो बुरा मान जाएंगे तुम्हारे घर में पाप पड़ सकता है छोड़ दिया लोगों से हम बिल बात में भाई की तबीयत बहुत ज़्यादा ख़राब हुई तो मतलब हमें ये मतलब सबसे उम्मीद थी कि जो हमारा परिवार है वो मेरे भाई को मतलब मेरे भाई को सपोर्ट करेगा मेरे भाई की देखभाल करेगा बट उस टाइम हमारा परिवार भी उस टाइम में नहीं आ रहा था काम नहीं आ रहा था और लोग जो थे वो भी काम नहीं आ रहे थे मैंने एकदम उम्मीद ही छोड़ दी थी बट मम्मी ने बिना पैसे के मतलब एक भैया के घर पे गई जो कि क्रिश्चियन थे उस मर्सी में मतलब जॉइन थे वो भैया उनके घर गई और फिर मतलब वहाँ प्रार्थना करी फिर उस दिन का टाइम और अब का टाइम मेरे भाई का अभी तक कोई तबीयत ख़राब नहीं हुई है क्योंकि उसमें इतना कॉन्फिडेंट था शक्ति में कि मेरे भाई को उसने उस दिन बचा लिया तो तब से और मेरी मम्मी ने इतना ट्रस्ट किया है उस चीज़ पे मतलब क्रिश्चियन पे उस और उस परिवार में और उस फैमिली में रह के इतना ट्रस्ट किया है परमेश्वर पर कि शायद अब शायद कुछ भी हो जाए चाहे लोग चाहे परिवार हमें छोड़ने पर आ जाए बट इतना परिवार है हम पे शायद हमें कोई भी छोड़ने पर आ जाए बट हम वहाँ से हटेंगे नहीं आ, उसके बाद हमारा मतलब मम्मी ने और मैंने एक डिसीज़न लिया कि हम हमेशा परमेश्वर के राज्य में रहेंगे और फिर हम मैंने और मम्मी ने मतलब मनी दी से और दीपक बोस से कहा कि हमारा बाइबल स्टडी करवाओ फिर उन्होंने हमारा बाइबल स्टडी करा और मैंने सेवन दिसंबर 2023 में मैं हम मेरा और मम्मी का हम दोनों का संग में एक तयस हमने बत्तीसमा लिया और मैं अब देखती हूँ कि मेरा लाइफ इतना मतलब इतना मतलब पहले बहुत ही बुरा था बट मेरे में और मेरी मम्मी में इतने चेंजेस आए गया कि अब देखती हूँ तो मुझे मैं बहुत खुश होती हूँ अब वो मुझे टेंशन वाले मतलब ग्लो नहीं देखते मम्मी के फेस पे सो so, अब तो मेरे पापा भी पहले वो मना करते थे बट अब मेरे पापा भी मतलब आने लग गए हैं मतलब हमसे पहले हमारे पापा चले जाते हैं वहाँ पर तो मुझे बड़ा अच्छा लगता है कि अब हमारा पूरा परिवार जो लड़ता था उस मतलब उस हिंदू परिवार में बट अब वो इतना खुश है और इतना मतलब हम लोग बहुत इन्जॉय से रहने लग गए अपनी लाइफ में मेरे को ये हेल्प मिलता है परमेश्वर से कि जब मैं वहाँ से अपनी गलियों से गुजरती थी जो मेरे नेबर्स थे वो बातें बनाते थे कि क्योंकि ये इतनी छोटी लड़की है और ये इतनी छोटी से इसमें इतना जुनून इतना जोश है ये एनी टाइम चर्च जाना तो शायद इसे पैसे मिलते होंगे इसलिए चर्च जाती है बट मेरी फैमिली के कुछ मेम्बर्स थे जिन्होंने घर पर आके ये कहा था कि जब तुम्हारी लड़की का टाइम होगा वेडिंग का 
तब हम उसमें नहीं क्योंकि तुम्हारी लड़की ने एक हिंदू परिवार को छोड़ के हमारे भगवान को छोड़ के एक चर्च के लोगों को और चर्च के परमेश्वर को माना तो फिर मैं मतलब मैंने ये सीखा है अपने वचन में परमेश्वर के वचन से कि उन्हें भी सताया गया था इसलिए हम हमें भी, भी हमें भी सताया जाएगा इसलिए फिर मैं, मैंने ये डिसीज़न लिया है कि उन्हें जब सताया गया था तो उन्होंने किसी के ऊपर मतलब कोई एग्री नहीं करा था उन्होंने किसी के ऊपर निशान नहीं दिखाया था इशारा नहीं दिया था कि उन्होंने उन्हें जो जितना सताया गया उन्होंने उतना मतलब हैंडल किया बट हमें भी उतना ही हैंडल करना है और मेरा ये है कि मैं आगे तक विश्वास बनाए रखूँगी परमेश्वर मैं बहुत ग्रेटफुल हूँ मर्सी स्कूल के लिए क्योंकि ये एकदम मेरे घर के पास खुला और मैं बहुत ग्रेटफुल हूँ कि मैंने यहाँ से बहुत सारी चीज़ें सीखी मैंने यहाँ नॉलेज प्यार प्रेम सीखा और एक फ्रेंडशिप सीखी मैंने सो so, मैं बहुत ग्रेटफुल हूँ यहाँ के लोगों के लिए क्योंकि यहाँ के लोगों के थ्रू मैंने मर्सी स्कूल के थ्रू मैंने गॉड को जान सकी और जो, जो भी कुछ मैं आज हूँ गॉड के और मर्सी के लिए हूँ सो थैंक यू We're Mercy, Mercy ambassadors. Of course, we do this in every photo. I'm a Mercy ambassador. Of course, I follow Mercy worldwide on Instagram. I'm a Mercy ambassador. Of course, they have my Mercy shirt and a long sleeve and some merch. I'm a Mercy ambassador. Of course, I follow Mercy worldwide on TikTok. I'm a Mercy ambassador. Of course, I'm looking forward to Christmas toy drive. I'm a Mercy ambassador. Of course, I have the Day of Mercy in my calendar. I'm a Mercy Ambassador. Of course I look for ways to serve in my community. Hey guys, it's me, Mina. Make sure you subscribe to Mercy Worldwide on YouTube. Wow, so inspired by Karen, her mom, Rindana, and how the Lord used the new Mercy Learning Center in a powerful way. And now we move into good news from around the world. This past month of January is where many of our churches hosted their winter workshops. And so we have several winter workshop miracles worldwide, starting in the Latin America world sector in the Lima, Peru church. And that is the baptism of Enzo. Enzo was invited to church by Sister Luz, and he was originally seeking baptism in the Catholic Church, but was told it wouldn't be possible without godparents. And although Enzo was very religious and even performed exorcisms in the Catholic Church, he realizes through the scriptures that this wasn't bringing him any closer to God. Enzo learned about true baptism and the life of a disciple, and so at their winter workshop on Sunday, January 21st, Enzo was baptized into Christ. For the news from the Latin America World Sector, last year in 2023, in the month of January, the Los Angeles Church saw 31 baptisms in 31 days. Well, a very exciting update is that this year, God has exceeded what they could ask or imagine by blessing the church with 55 baptisms in January 2024. Congratulations to our Jerusalem Church. That is amazing. Now, over in Phoenix, Arizona, of the Tri-Pacific Rim World Sector, the church rang in the new year with their winter workshop entitled Lord and Messiah. Messiah. Disciples were able to see their fearless Tucson International Christian Church leaders, Kevin and Brittany Hetrick, get appointed as evangelist and women's ministry leader in God's kingdom, and also saw Anthony and Angelica Rivera appointed as shepherding couple in God's kingdom. And after a few days of fiery hot preaching and spirited worship, they closed the service with two souls being saved. And speaking of winter workshops, in the month of January, movement leader Dr. Kit McKean flew to Manila to preach at their New Year's workshop. Let's take a look. In 2007, 42 disciples from Portland went to Los Angeles. God has multiplied them into over 11,500 disciples Woo! in 170 churches. So 
inspiring. Now, Kip returned from Manila to LA, and from there, Kip and Elena both traveled over to Washington, D.C. near the end of January. In their time there, they were reunited with Dr. Andrew and Patrick Smelly and plunged right into a deeply edifying marriage and parenting workshop packed with spiritual wisdom. On Sunday, Elena delivered a touching communion at the Bring Your Neighbor Day service, and Kip, like always, preached a rousing sermon. Let's take a listen to Elena. You know, God miraculously healed me for a purpose. And I feel that purpose. Every day is a gift from God. Every day I need to give my best. And when I come to communion, I think about, okay, did I really give my best this week? Did I give my best to Kip? Did I give my best to my brothers and sisters, to the non-Christians that I have the opportunity to reach out to? Because uh, we can get so caught up, and we talked about it with the marrieds, the distractions of life that we forget what's really the most important. And that's why I love communion, because it focuses us on Jesus. What's most important, where we're at with Jesus, and where we're at with others. And Jesus can help heal any relationship. And For Africanist World Sector Leader, Dr. Andrew Patrick Smelly, 2023 was so special to them, as it was the year their precious daughter, Naomi, and Patrick's mother, Varys, were baptized. And beyond personal miracles on the African continent, the Holy Spirit planted six churches. Accra, Nairobi, Lusaka, Kotonou, Tana, and Lubumbashi. And among the English-speaking plantings, what an inspiration to witness them double in membership since their plantings this year. Accra has grown from 16 to 36 disciples, Lusaka from 6 to 17 disciples, and Nairobi from 8 to 17 disciples. The spark is becoming a flame in the motherland, and please pray for the upcoming planting Maputo, Mozambique, which we sent out later this year. Incredible news from the teen ministry of the London Church. Meet Brandon, a 16-year-old with an amazing testimony. Brandon was originally introduced to London's online Bible talk, and he witnessed the miraculous transformation of Stellion, once a fervent advocate for the LGBT community. Under the guidance of teens ministry leader Michael Adrian Williamson, Brandon delved into the Bible, captivated by the deep convictions of the brothers in the teens ministry. Brandon confronted his sins, was baptized into Christ, and now wants to imitate the teens he sees in the Bible. Way to go, Brandon. Make no mistake, teens are world changers. As Jesus built his church through the 12 apostles, which the majority of scholars from Matthew 17, 24 through 27, believe that they were in their late teens, only Peter being in his 20s. And speaking of baptisms, in the Toronto Church of the Northern Federation World Sector is Thomas. Thomas is a young man who grew up without any male figures or role models in his life, which in turn led him down a very dark road. After hitting rock bottom, he saw a church building with a big cross on the street across from him and realized that God was the answer. However, he also understood that he couldn't go to just any church. He had to find a church that was really preaching the truth. Thomas searched the internet and finally found Toronto's ICC church website. He shared that the first thing he saw when he went to the website is our statement of beliefs, which says, the Bible is the inspired Word of God and is the final authority in life and doctrine. He came to their Christmas service late last year and this past month was baptized into Christ. Wow. And just a little later in the month was the Crown of Thorns Council Zoom meeting. A huge congratulations to its newest members, Zach and Ariel Shields, Jason and Daniela Woody, Calder and Cassandra Akin, and Jared and Rachel McGee. The focus of this meeting was the arts, media, and sports ministries called AMS, and the singles ministry with speakers Michael and Michelle Williamson, Anthony and Cassidy Almost, and doctors Kip and Elena McKean. Michael and Michelle Williamson of London have certainly led the way in media alongside Anthony and Cassidy Almost of Paris. And this year, the kingdom has seen many do the same and release albums, podcasts, films, and even publish books. It's so encouraging to see disciples step out on faith and use their incredible gifts for God's glory. We are so excited to see how God will shine through the gifts of the disciples in the coming year. To close out today's episode, we look faithfully into 2024, filled with dreams, vision, and blessings for forceful advancement of God's kingdom. In 2023, we had planned for 24 plantings and to the glory of God, saw the planting of 28 new churches worldwide. And marching into 2024, we are eagerly expecting to see the planting of 24 more churches. This means, Lord willing, the conclusion of Operation Eagle, the mission to evangelize all 50 states in America, which will fund missions for the foreseeable future. This also means charging into new, uncharted, and increasingly difficult territory. However, 
We're reminded of Genesis chapter 12, verses 2 and 3 in our year of blessings. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Wow. Thank you, family, for joining us for another episode of the Good News Network. If you enjoyed this month's episode, please share with family and friends so they too can be blessed through the modern day miracles of God. We are family till the end. This is Luke and Brendan Speckman reporting to you from the Good News Network. The best news you'll ever see.